here with VMI head lacrosse coach Brian Ank and coach tough uh, 15 to 4 result today stats uh, pretty even score doesn't quite dictate how close this game really was yeah I agree I, you know this is the second game in a row where uh, as a coaching staff we've sat down and, and looked quite a bit at, uh, at the statistical categories for our first four games and then you look at our stats for the last two games against what I think are two great opponents I mean a, a ranked Lehigh team and, and a Mount St. Mary's team that uh, I think is as good as anyone in the country. I think they're they're a very very athletic bunch. We knew that coming in. Uh, statistically, I, I looked at that across the board, and, and I think that it, it's very it's very telling uh, that that we're competing with these teams. You know, unfortunately on the scoreboard, it's not telling as much as we'd like it to, and, and some of that is some execution base and and us managing to find some quicksand. But uh, I, I really couldn't be happier at the effort for 60 minutes we brought together. We found out a little bit more about ourselves and, and, uh, and some really good things on both sides of the ball. We just, we just need to extend that for more than just spurts during the game and, and find ways to overcome some of these, uh, uh, these, these little down cycles that we have. Um, last two games, you guys have been outstanding in the clearing game. You guys went 14-14 to this game and held them to just 11 successful clears on 19 attempts. Uh, is that something you guys worked on this week? Yeah, it's something we work on every week. I, I think I'm, I'm proud of the fact that it, it finally shows statistically, and I think it finally shows in the number of possessions we had because we take a ton of pride in the riding, riding and clearing aspect. And to have a margin that big is something that, uh, that we've been trying to go for all year. I really think that the margin helped bridge the gap uh, where we tailed off on faceoffs a little bit. And I, I'll tell you what, you know, we, we, we got what, I, what I'm proud to say is I think one of the best faceoff units in the country. And I mean units, I mean our, our wing personnel. I mean, obviously, Stephen Robarge and our faceoff guys. And, uh, you know, these guys, as we, as we run into other teams, they're going to prep hard for those guys. And I take my hat off to, uh, to the faceoff unit up there at, uh, at Mount St. Mary's today. They did a heck of a job prepping. They executed very well. They took us out of our game a little bit. Um, and we kept battling and threw everything that we had at them. Uh, and did win some good key face-offs, but we got to find some other ways to uh, to be able to get the ball when we are having a tough day at the X. On the defensive end, you guys held uh, Mount St. Mary's to one goal in the first and two in the two in the third. Um, you know, coming in, obviously you're going to know your plan, and then you know halftime adjustments going yeah. into the third as well. Um, kind of talk about the defense today. Yeah, I, I can't say enough. This is two games in a row, and 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 the 15 goal margin there, I think it's a little tough to tell what a great effort they put together. I think. Uh, you know, I think for us, um, just playing a very, very good zone defense and then flashing um, some of our man opportunities at them, I think clearing the ball helps us tremendously. We're playing a lot less defense now that we're clearing the ball better. Uh, we need the offensive end to be able to pick up their part. And, and I say that meaning we're creating good opportunities. We're just not finishing the opportunities as much as I'd like. And uh, we had some shots in the first quarter where I felt that it could have been a one-to-one, -one, a three-to-one advantage from our end. Uh, if we finish a couple of our predetermined opportunities. And uh, that will become a major uh, point of emphasis moving forward here. But um, just another great showing from our defense. Uh, speaking of moving forward, you guys have Wagner at home on Tuesday, followed by another home game Saturday. Uh, it'd be good to get back down to Lexington, not have to deal with the road travel a little bit. Yeah, it's good to be back in Lexington. It's spring break. Um, you know, we'll see a Wagner team that's in a similar boat as us. You know, teams that are fighting for their first win, there's a lot to be said about that. I just talked to the guys in the locker room. I said, nothing's more important than – playing with heart and, uh, and and really following your system when you're playing teams that are uh, that are really battling for that first win of the season. And they're a good program. And uh, I know they're going to be in here ready to go, as will we. Uh, and then you can't help but, but look into the fact that we hit conference a week from today. And for us, half of the reason we play the schedule we do out of conference is to prep us to be – really the, uh, the, the most, the most game-ready team in conference. And uh, I feel very confident after another great opponent today that we'll be ready for that. All right, thanks, Coach, and good luck moving forward. Hey, thank you.